Your campaign ends here, maggot of unreason. We have no intention of joining the uncounted corpses littered in your path. Your love for these southern mongrels was a fool's errand. We would have conscripted them into service and given them lives under Kairos. You only forestall their doom with your rebellious game. We could have been magnificent together. But instead, we will have your bones fashioned into a scepter, your skin knotted into a belt, and your tongue fed to crows. At least crows know the meaning of respect and gratitude. Fatebinder, wait. The Voices has been weaving at my loom for years. I'm saying that he pointed us at Crocus, he led us to Fort Squander, and that he wanted me to learn what I learned there. I'm saying that maybe everything's gone according to his plan, including this. You presume we possess a more than passing interest in this trumped-up barrister? Whatever our dear adjudicator lacks for, his rationality has never been in question. How are we to know that one of Tunon's students would engage in such ridiculous folly? Your paranoia delights us. However, a stint in infiltration has complicated you delectably. You think I didn't work out your little plot? That I didn't fathom why my sisters got all mixed up inside of me? Don't dance around the accusation, girl. Seize it like a lover. I... Go fuck yourself, Archon. We've both been here before, haven't we? I'm right back to the day when my sisters died in front of me, only this time I'm truly afraid. Maybe my idiot brother has something to do with it. The last time this happened, I froze. Now I'm more afraid of what happens if we attack. Listen to her, Fatebinder. She shows wisdom beyond her years. The Voices of Narat is a terrifying, centuries-old mastermind, and neither of us have been around as long as him. That point seems worth emphasizing. I really, really hope you understand that he's going to hurt us. It's true. We promise. If you're up to it, then I'm with you. I've killed my share of gang bosses, and it doesn't take a genius to know when a leader is flagging and needs to be replaced. <laughs> no offense. None taken, wretched girl. We have never been more proud of you than at this moment. You are everything the Chorus strives to become. Perhaps not all is lost between us, Fatebinder. Perhaps you would be willing to accept a settlement of our grievances in exchange for the return of our fury. Oh no, our dear, ridiculous Fatebinder, no. Not at all. But we shall rescind our territorial claims and remove our chorus from the tears, leaving the particulars of this peninsula's governance to those remaining. The tears will be entirely below our notice. Invite her into our cacophonous hole, of course. Worry not for her, for we shall envelop her in familial understanding. Your sacrifice to our holy cacophony. I've never seen the voices get like this. It's like he's fractured around the edges. I know it sounds crazy, but if you gave him what he wanted, I bet he couldn't take it. Outstanding news, Fatebinder. You overjoy us with your effortless generosity. Welcome back to us, our dear. You've been too long away. Welcome. Well As tempted as we find the thought of inviting another of Ash's iron-skulled sycophants into our membership, 
We prepared our dear verse for this moment. We have made the girl a unique vintage, and we shall accept no other in her stead. Look at us, Binder, and the path we took to get here. Hardly seems a path at all. More like some kind of improvised mummer's farce in a drunkard's dream. <laughs> With worse dialogue. It's probably that way for everyone who hasn't lived for half a fucking millennium. Age has a way of broadening one's perspective, little Fury. Until the chaos resolves into patterns, and the patterns shatter into chaos. We're all spiders, my lovely, horrid little spy. Sure. Nothing ridiculous about that. Let's fucking finish this already. Come then. We crave the exquisite sweetness of your resistance. Would you take a look at that? of old age. Where on the speckled ass of Taratus am I? And why does my mouth taste terrible? Fatebinder, you're still here. A moment ago, I was fighting a hundred people all at once. I thought it would be the end of me, but they all backed off when we heard your voice. <sighs> Looks like we're still keeping each other alive, though in my case it's arguable. Eh, control enough. The thoughts come in surges and waves, some benign, others seek to take the reins of thought. But nothing I can't handle. It's me, after all. I think... I think I hear my sisters in here. Maybe this... Maybe it's some kind of reunion. Not what I'd have asked for, sure, but... Maybe it's not all shit, either. Help you lead... Fatebinder, you've got my service, you've got my blade, and you always will. But the chorus is that blade now. My blade, won by right of the challenge I mounted against him. We're your ally. I'm your ally. But the Scarlet Chorus answers to me. I don't know how to break this to you, boss, but I know things that the Archon of Secrets was holding back. Spooky things. It sounds like Kairos is marching on the tears. Enough is enough. There's an army out there chanting for your blood. Are you fucking kidding me with that question? Have I ever struck you as a paragon of peace? Did the voices? Why would we have the key to peace? Shit, I don't know. Maybe send a missive, beg clemency. Uh, maybe offer up the overlord one of his enemies? Got any stashed away somewhere? I hope you have some compelling ideas because I've got a nest of hornets buzzing in my head and it's taking all of my brain power to keep them calm. On it. Just so we're clear, I don't see myself getting used to this anytime soon. I'm a man, but I don't have the parts. I'm also a lot of other people, and none of them can agree on anything. A lot of the voices' eccentricities are starting to make sense. You seem in every way unchanged to me. Shut up, you dumb ironclad. So, what do you need? Funny thing, I always thought I would end up here. It seemed more likely that I would kill my way to the top, not possess the Archon of Secrets like a parasite. Eh. Live and learn. There's a very strong echo that never stops. Everything I hear just keeps traveling through my head without really dissipating. That's going to be a problem someday. But beyond that, well, I feel good. 
I miss my body, and let me tell you, I'm far from the first person to think that. But the green flames suit me more than I thought they would. Here's to hoping I can maintain this. Not yet, but I'd be lying if I said the notion hadn't crossed my mind. Being a boss means making the hard decisions, and that usually involves setting an example. Most of these chorus louts don't understand anything until you write it in blood. Perhaps not all is lost between us, Fatebinder. Sorry, voices. Looks like I found a new Archon to follow. All the way, boss. I couldn't draw my blade in better company. A little spy is right about one thing, you know. You're going to die, screaming. But your awareness will live for eternity. Suffering within our magnificence. Attend to us, darlings! There is more than one way to skin a fate finder, and we will show you as many as possible. You... <laughs> you delightful little surprise. We've had our fun, haven't we? But all good things have their end. You've defeated us, but Kairos is coming. The armies of the North march on the tears to claim your magnificent head. There is nothing you can do. Oh, you're sick of our voices by now. We've exhausted ourselves and everyone around us with our schemes. Were we a top form, we would want a demonstration. Something extravagant, full of wonder. We... we applaud you. You have the strength to visit horrors upon your enemies. Ah, but we enjoyed that so. Such promise. Such potential. I only wish. No! Not like this. We were so close. <laughs> Good riddance, asshole. Shouldn't have screwed with me and my sisters. So much knowledge was in that hive of a creature. If Narat weren't such a wanton monster, I'd almost shed a tear for his passing. Just to think of how many tomes his minds could have filled. Though I suppose most of it would have been sketches of torture and fornication.
much. Ah!